Well, we're a week out from Five Nights at Freddy's movie hitting the big screen. It's also coming out on one of the streaming services. I can't remember which one because I don't really get it here. But this is going to be one of the biggest horror movies of this generation. It's going to be filled with lore. It's going to break open a lot of what happens in the games just behind Five Nights at Freddy's. Scott Cawthorn's creation here is now going to be on the big screen. But apparently they're changing things so badly that a Disney shill site has sat there and said it's going to be so badly changed you won't even recognize it. I beg to differ. Well, before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, all those fun things that YouTube likes. It keeps the algorithm happy, it keeps the numbers going up, and that is everything that matters around YouTube. Now, I'm trying to book myself a ticket to this show, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to go to it right on opening day. I work on the day that it comes out, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit, and sitting up here in the front rows, I, I physically won't be able to see it. So it's plain and simple, not going to happen. But the movie from Inside the Magic, this is a website that has covered a plethora of Disney topics. They usually have the inside track on what's going on with Disney. And at some point I thought maybe it was a Disney website, but looking at the about page, they are not. They are just someone that knows the ins and outs of the Disney world. But it's very strange to me. Five Nights at Freddy's movie straying away from the video game. Well, first thing I gotta say is, of course it is, right? Like the three books, the Silver Eyes trilogy, um, they were adjacent to how things are told in the video games. And if you've seen some of the theories out there, especially from FNAF, um, he breaks down how Security Breach was kind of the first, and in the next one, the, how Ruin DLC was kind of the next one, and then the third one is going to be Into the Circus. He broke it all down, how it's following the path of this, but it's not a one-to-one -one thing. It never has been in this uh, franchise, in the lore of the video games. So, despite claiming that the film is a love letter to fans, Five Nights at Freddy's 2023 is making some significant deviations from its source material. And here's why it's a good thing. And they're saying it's a good thing that they're doing this. First off, they're not really deviating from, from the story, from everything I've seen with the trailers, from everything I know personally of, of the lore. I, and I, I can tell you right now, I am not a full fanatic into the lore, even though I've done some videos on the lore and my take and my spin on it. Everything that I know with this is not really what this is saying. Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the most iconic horror video game franchises of all time. Created by Scott Cawthorn in 2014, in simple gameplay, terrifying animatronics, and surprisingly deep lore that made FNAF series some of the most popular indie game video games of all time, inspiring to a total of 16 different games, which they've also just released a new one Preview, you know, just to hype up the movie a little bit, I believe it's Freddy in Space, a few of the higher lore channels, the, some of the ones that do deep dives in, into the lore, got previews to the game. The video game's success is also inspired numerous other pieces of merchandise, including books, graphics, novels, and toys. And might I say, a plethora of other indie titles that just expand on the lore in their own storytelling, in their own way, which we have played quite a few, quite a few here on the channel. Based on the events of the first game, the st film stars Josh Hutchinson uh, plays as Mike Smith, and if you're not diving into the lore too much, I'm going to dive into a few things here, you know, a little bit of warning here, if you don't want to be spoiled by the movie, but if you don't know any of the lore for the movie, then this might come as a surprise that none of this is new. Michael Smith the, it was the name, I believe, in sister location that was used for Michael Afton, or that's the thought that he, this Michael is the son of William Afton, and Smith was the name that he chose for that hidden version of. 
William Lillard, which is also Shaggy from Scooby-Doo, or uh, what was it, Serial Killer from Hackers, playing as William Afton. And I got to say, the, the few video shots of him in the trailers, he does look like a very good villain. Uh, Cat Corner Stilling as Maxine, Mary Stewart Masterson as Aunt Jane, and Lucas Grant as Garrett Smith. Garrett Smith technically at this point would be the crying child would be my understanding of it because that would be Mike's younger brother. The animatronics were created by Jim Henson's Creature Shop. So this is like a Dark Crystal all over again in a different version. You've got animatronics. The Dark Crystal, because it's Jim Henson that's doing this, I expect this to be terrifying. I expect this to scare people silly. Naturally, fans were ecstatic to hear that the film is a love letter to the franchise. However, it may be a bit miffed when they learned of all the changes being made in the film. So the changes that they're talking about here, they go into how Fitz is in a, in, this is in a dreamlike state where he's holding a hook. And generally that wasn't something that was symbolizing it in the video game so much, but it's a much easier reference and a way, a way to tell the storyline that yes, uh, that Fritz here is Foxy with the hook. That, that's the only thing they're doing. They're just drawing parallels to the animatronics, to the kids. And them saying that that is a deviation from the lore, it, it, it isn't really. Um, and then if you pay close attention to the trailer, Michael Smith thanks Maxine for warning him about the ghost children. This refers to the missing children's incident, the MCI, uh, the victims who each possess one of the animatronics. Um, so... That, that's not anything different. That's something that's known in the lore. Um, it goes on for uh, Freddy Fazbear Pizza to keep track of murders and animatronics. That's nothing new. Uh, these children are also briefly in the trailer, including Fritz as a boy with uh, in a brown long sleeve shirt with a fake hook similar to Foxy, one of the animatronics. This marks a massive shift from the original game since the beloved lore was almost non-existent at that point. So they're expanding on it. They're expanding on the lore and giving you more meat to bite into. That doesn't mean that it's non-existent, that the lore wasn't there. We already knew Fritz was one of the kids that was killed in the, uh, in the missing children's incident. It's very strange that they would say that this in particular is the one thing that they're doing differently when it's not. All of this is meant to coordinate with another new character introduced in the FNAF universe as Abby Smith, which would be the daughter of uh, Michael a of William Afton, uh, or the sister to Michael Afton, and to and which is the one that actually gets scooped by Baby. So we are missing one of the big things here is they they, they keep hinting that one of the animatronics it hasn't been shown in any of the trailers, and if you look at abby and rearrange a couple letters it spells baby so this is the precursor to the second book which is sister location with baby and the fun time animatronics which would be the next movie because this is supposed to be part of a trilogy it's very strange that they're saying that this that this is going on and going to be differently. Uh, this may seem like a massive departure from the source material, which is simply uh, stated as a guy doesn't want to get murdered by Chuck E. You know, Chuck e. Cheese. However, these changes aren't just good thing for the film. It's potential series that could follow are essential to making a good film. It, it didn't change anything. And this person even says, as a fan, it's really easy to be upset when a movie based on a video game strays too far from the source material. I don't see this as it's going to stray very far from the source material. I believe this is going to build on the source material. And I've spoken way too long on this because it's absolutely ridiculous that this was even sent to me. Um, that because the ghost children are going to possess the animatronics if you don't know the lore and it's a horror movie it's going to be a little bit more cut and dry and cut and paste it is a horror movie it's got going to have deep lore Im implications to it and i just hope it does well enough that the two movies that are supposed to come after don't get cancelled 
Anyway, I'm your Prague Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.